Hey there guys, I'm Toby Mott and if you've never watched any of these Cardiff Insider films before, these are the films where I try to help you get through university life as best as I possibly can. Now if I don't seem as happy or as chirpy or as bright as I usually am today, it's because I'm going to try to help you get through the looming exams. And let's face it, nobody likes exams, but they've got to be done. The joys of university. <laughs> So I'm very, very lucky in the respect that I don't have any exams. This semester has just been 100% coursework for me. Um, but I think a lot of the tips that I'm going to talk you through apply whether you're preparing for five, six exams or preparing for three or four deadlines. Um, because at the end of the day, coursework and exams all require solid, hard work. And um, the tips that I, I'm going to be talking to you about today will hopefully make that hard work a little bit easier to deal with. Okay, so tip number one. It's really, really simple, but it's so important to eat and drink well. When you're revising as hard as you can for your exams, or when you've written your 5,000th word of your dissertation or your essay on microorganisms in the planet, I'm not a scientist, it's so, so tempting to uh, pick up the phone, ring up the local pizzeria, find the biggest pizza and get it delivered. It's so tempting, I've done it before. But really, does anyone feel good after doing that? No. Really? If you do feel good after doing that, tweet me at Toby underscore Mott. <laughs> Perhaps more important than eating well is drinking well. And I don't mean a double vodka and lemonade at 9am in the morning. I actually did some research on this earlier. And researchers at the University of Connecticut over in the United States of America have found that if you are dehydrated, you are more angry, you feel more fatigued, you have mood swings. Mood swings, yeah. Very, no one wants mood strings. Mood, mood strings, mood swings. And you are more prone to headaches, which is obvious. I, when I feel like I haven't drunk enough, I always get like a weird pulsating head feeling. If you're dealing with all of this stuff, then you're gonna inevitably find it harder to concentrate on either revision or coursework. Just keep yourself hydrated and you will find your work much, much easier. Big tip number two. Again, it's pretty obvious, but sleep is so important. I did some research on this earlier, and if you don't have enough sleep, your attention is impaired, you're less alert, your concentration drops, and the fundamental thing here is the effects it has on your memory. When you go to sleep, your mind consolidates all of your memories from the day, and if you don't have enough, then it doesn't have as great a chance to do this, which means if you have less sleep, it's less likely that your brain will hold the information that you've spent all day trying to take in. Tip number three is flexibility. I have lost count with a number of times I've sat at my laptop at 9am in the morning with good intentions and looked up at the clock, found it's 1pm oh, no. and I've done absolutely nothing. So there are two, two options if that scenario arises. You can just stay sat at your desk and continue procrastinating. Or you can think, all right, I'm clearly not getting anything done, so I'm gonna go and do something relatively fun with my life before coming back to it. There's no point in you sitting in front of your laptop or a pile of books if you're just not getting anywhere with it. Tip four, if you are feeling really, really stressed, there's nothing worse than holding it all in and trying to deal with it all by yourself. Get together with, with groups of friends, go to libraries to revise, um, if you're really stressed and you feel like you want to talk to someone from the university, I know in the School of Journalism, Media and Cultural Studies, everyone's got a personal tutor, so they're free to contact and they're always willing to um, go through any issues or problems that you may be having. Um, but just don't sit there and stress yourself out because <laughs> you'll stress yourself out, then you'll try to work and then that'll just stress you out even more and then you'll just combust or disintegrate into dust or, or something. You probably won't, but you know, you get the point. <laughs> Tip number five is exercise. Again, quite obvious, but it's so, so important. Exercise releases endorphins, and this is a uh, chemical in your body that is known as the kind of the feel good hormone. Um, so if you get out, kick a football around, go for a run, even if it's just taking the dog for a walk, um, you get out and away from your work, it relieves your stress, it increases the endorphins in your body, and it means that when you go back to your work later, you'll feel much, much better about life in general. And finally, tip six is make sure that you have something 
at the end of it all to look forward to. Um, if you're going through loads and loads of books, if you're going through loads and loads of textbooks, then you want something at the end of it kind of that will make it feel worthwhile. If you've got something after your last exam or your last deadline that you can really, really look forward to, it'll feel much, much easier to write um, that essay you've been putting off for ages or revise that particularly hard topic. Students Union are running a trip to Amsterdam on June the 11th to June the 14th, I believe. Yeah, that's right. It costs £142. Um, it's travel and accommodation included, and it sounds like really, really great fun. If you are at a loss for something to look forward to, get a group of mates together, get on that trip, and have a great time. So I think that rounds up today's Cardiff Insiders film. As always, if you've got any questions or any of your own tips that you kind of find that are really, really useful getting through coursework and exams, um, get in touch with me at Toby underscore Mott, either on Twitter or on Instagram. I will see you next month in the mists of exam periods. Uh, I hope it all goes well. And in the meantime, stay happy. Don't let work get you down. Try and get a balance. Um, keep things in perspective. You know, all that stuff. <laughs> see you later, guys. Yeah.